Mary Donnelly, and these Kindle channel. Don't forget, follow along on YouTube. Subscribe, like, and share. Hit the boop alert button so you know what's going on all week long. Follow us on Instagram, and please like and follow us on Facebook. You're going to get all sorts of cool content and bonus videos. Cheers, guys. Hi, everyone, and welcome to my virtual happy hour here at MD's Gin Mill channel, live on Facebook and now streaming live on YouTube also. What are you guys drinking? Let me know what you're drinking. See what's going on this beautiful Monday. Listen, I am all going solo today. Miss Judy cannot be with us today, so it's me and you guys. So let me know what's going on. Throw me some comments. If you are streaming live on YouTube, let me know. I want to say hi. And also Facebook guests as well. So Mother's Day was yesterday. And again, happy Mother's Day to all the moms up there. And to my mom, I know she's watching. Hi, mom. So what you guys do? What did you drink yesterday? Did you have the mimosas? Did you do something fun or different? Let me show you what I did. It's kind of interesting. It involves, check this out, it involves a paddle. Okay? Not what you're thinking. We made a crawfish. Actually, it was a crab shrimp oil. It's supposed to be crawfish oil, but we used shrimp with a big paddle. I've never seen anything like it. That's how they stir it all up. Look at this beautiful array of yummy foods. So we stirred it with the paddle, and that was the finished product. We had crab legs, shrimp, potatoes, garlic onions it was awesome and it was so simple so if you're ever interested in doing that let me know i can uh, throw you some tips because now with my pedal i know what's going on but anyways what's new what's exciting tell me what you guys are doing what's what's happening well i guess we're getting a third stimulus check is that what i hear i don't know i got a letter today from the white house yeah that's right I got a letter from the White House, and they said, Ms. Vanderbush, you will be receiving a stimulus check. I don't know. I don't, I don't know if it was a scam or what, but it's kind of weird. Kind of weird. So up to some interesting current booze, fun stuff. I also tried a little something fun this weekend. So here's a picture of what I found online that looked like Check it out, a dolphin, okay, do you see it? That's a dolphin in a pina colada. How cute is that? So I tried it Saturday at one of my bars and look how I turned out. <laughs> I don't know, what do you think? It's kind of cute, do you see it? You know, little dolphin guy right there, you know? It was fun. I added a little fin afterwards on his back, so it kind of looked more like a dolphin because everybody kept saying, it's the ass black duck. I said, no, it's a dolphin. So that was interesting. Jim Beam is at it. Jim Beam's got their version of the RTD now, the ready-to-drink cocktails that everyone's talking about. Check this out. Jim Beam ginger highball so a highball is just booze and like a seltzer or seven up or ginger ale that's all a highball is so now we've got jim bean highball in a can so i don't know see if we like it actually you know it's not that many calories and it could be something a little bit different than your usual old boring seltzer or more rtd and shortages so i'm going to get out Sad, by the way. You know, we're always talking about chicken wing shortage, this shortage. Here's yet another shortage. Hey, GM Jackson. They, they, I barely can hear me at the White House. But <laughs> look at this. This is our new shortage Snyder's of Hanover pretzels. We're in a shortage of pretzels. So I checked the video. They said, we don't have enough people to make the pretzels. We don't have enough employees to make the pretzels. We also don't have enough stuff, product, because there's no truck drivers to bring us our product to make pretzels. So hence, yeah, the pretzel shortage. 
That's one of my favorite foods. I know we talked about what would be your favorite food if you were on death row. Pretzels. That was mine. Yeah. And, you know, what's next? Remember Absolute Vodka? We don't carry it anymore because they went crazy a couple years ago with their pricing, but now they have a watermelon absolute. And I know a lot of you are going to go crazy because everyone's always asking me, do you have a watermelon vodka? And I don't carry one because I can't find it anywhere. I don't remember that sky vodka had it. But now we've got absolute watermelon. And this is different. This has zero added sugar and it's only 91 calories. So we'll try to get that in and we can have some fun with some absolute back in the day. Hey, Amanda, how are you today? Happy Mom's Day the next day to you. There is also, obviously, after Sigma Mile, all good stuff comes out because you know how we did have Corona? Well, the very next day, my beer company called me and said, oh, we got Corona now. I said, the day after Sigma Mile? Come on. I don't know. Here's what we got. Dosaki, lime and salt, variety pack. So this looks neat. This is watermelon, cucumber, and lime and salt. I like the lime and salt one. These are beers. This is a Mexican beer, Dos Equis. 135 calories, 4.2 on your ABV, so it's not really going to cook your butt too much, but we'll see. And you know, we always talked about the booze bandage right here. Remember this guy? Slap it on it worked, it truly worked. I found something new. So I love wine. You guys know how much I love wine. And the next day, my head is bound and I wanted to die. I had one glass. Well, this is called Drop It. These are little drops, tasteless drops. You drop in your wine when you drink it. It's going to reduce the salt bites and the tannins. And it says that you will not get a heavy. Dropitwine.com, $20. I'm going to order some, and we're going to try it out. <laughs> but here's something I also found. This is a woman-owned company, which we love. Good for the women. These are called Buzz Balls. So try to get this close enough so you can see it, okay? Buzz Balls. All right? We've got the margarita. This one is a pineapple colada, strawberry, and this one, I have no clue. It is called a horchata. Horchata. I don't know. Hi, Sandy. Uh, the cook did an amazing job with his paddle. <laughs> but I wanted to try one of these because I'm going to save the others for my juice backwards next week. But... I'm just gonna take a little sip of the strawberry because I love strawberries. And these are wine based, so they drop, you can put the drops in these too. Wine based, you know, 13%. Ooh, smells like strawberry. Holy cow. It tastes like melted jello, melted strawberry jello. It's delicious. Okay. We like these. That's good. So we forgot to look at that Cosmo. We made, you know, this past Friday was National Cosmopolitan Day. So we want to say happy day to the Cosmo. Remember the pink drink that Carrie Bradshaw made popular at Sex and the City? Remember this one? This past Friday was National Cosmopolitan Day. And you know, I don't think people order enough of these anymore. They really should. I mean, Citrus vodka, a little triple sec, dash of fresh lime, some cranberry. It's delicious. Hi, John. How are you? Thank you very much. What are you up to? Did you have a good Mother's Day weekend, you guys? Let me know. Well, I thought, okay, so I found this. This is booze infused ice cream, and they call this tipsy scoop ice cream. All right, all these ice creams are used with liquor. All these different ones up here. Now, 
Hi, Lala. How are you? So, okay. They're $49 for a four pack and screwball whiskey. Remember our screwball whiskey? Also, women owned, which we're very happy about. Screwball partnered with tipsyscoop.com to make a screwball peanut butter whiskey. So I thought, no, nah, let's just make our own. So, guys, while I'm making this, let me know what's going on. Did you have fun? Hi, Sheila. Happy Mom's Day to you. So this is easier than spending 49 bucks. So just put some ice cream in there. Hi, Amanda. How are you? Thanks for joining in, ladies and gentlemen. So you got ice cream, okay? It's a little melty because it's like 100 here in Florida. Screwball whiskey. Just put some on the top. Use as much as you want because who cares? You're at your house having ice cream. Hi, Heather. How you doing? Oh, Heather. She was going to come on to you guys and tell us about this awesome seltzer that she found. If you go to her page, her name's right there, you can see the seltzer. She said that it really, really tasted good. She loved it. Don't forget your cherries. Mine is kind of beat up. Put your cherry on there. Okay? And there you go. There's 49 bucks. Come on. Really? So we got Fireball, which is a peanut butter whiskey with vanilla ice cream. Oh my God, it's strong. <laughs> that is so good though. You gotta do this. That's amazing. And then, if you're so inclined, get out your bullet, stick the whole thing, even the cherry, in your bullet right here. But I got plenty. This is the other thing you can do. Hmm, that's good. And a little more screwball because you can never have enough. It's like a half an ounce more. You stick a couple of things in there. If you have some chocolate, you want to put some chocolate in your house, go for that also. But I don't want the extra calories. But whip this up. And you got it. I'm not uh, it says, like you barely hear her. She's at Shuckers, which is a place out at Jensen Beach. You want this ice cream. Oh, I can't get it open. Oh, my. Here we go. So add a little more of that in there. Get yourself a nice glass that you probably get ripped off from some cruise ship or maybe a place like Shuckers. <laughs> just saying. So just imagine that that had more in it. Add more with cream. Add it all up. Who cares, right? You're at your house. It doesn't matter. Let's see how this tastes. Oh my God. I don't give screwball peanut butter whiskey enough for it. It's delicious. I am telling you. It's good. Mm. I'm going to be sick after this show, you guys. But, anyways, there's so many fun things you can do. I found something else. Did you ever have a whiskey sour? Plain old 1970s. Danny Terrio, Dan Spieber, Joni Loves Chachi, Whiskey Sour, okay? Well, there's a new twist. So, what I've done, we're gonna make regular whiskey sour, okay? Little twist. So, if you have a little fancy, like, square ice cubes, I know how to got one. I know she can see what I'm on. You can just get one little square, one cube, okay? And my cameraman was nice enough to let me have a little bit of this vat honey jack that he keeps here at the studio. So just put an ounce and quarter of honey jack, and this is going to be your whiskey sour. Now, the twist is it's the honey jack. It's adding honey to this classic recipe. It's a slightly sweeter taste. Another ounce of lemon juice. Okay? Get your simple syrup that you can buy at the store. Do the same amount of that, okay? Stick that in. 
And that's all you have to do. Now imagine you get one of those beautiful square, teeny little ice cubes. Stick your lemon on there, and that's it. So you've got whiskey, sugar, your simple syrup, and lemon juice. Let's try it out. Oh my God. This might be good with ice cream. I'm not even sure. That's good too. Guys, I don't even know where to go right now. It's amazing. But here is this mystery. If you're watching, this is for you. The same place that tipsyscoop.com made a cake batter vodka martini ice cream cake right here. That is a cake batter vodka martini ice cream cake. Costs eighty-six dollars at tipsyscoop.com. I don't know. I think I need that for my next birthday. I think so. I really do. They've got so here's a picture of their fall collaboration with their ice cream. So this is what they've got, and that one's like I said, forty-nine dollars. Or you can just do what I just did. And make it your house. It's it's a lot cheaper. I don't know. There is one last thing is Chandon, which is one of my favorite, favorite champagnes of all time, sparkly wines, because if it's not from the champagne region, it's not champagne. But Chandon sparkly wine has come out with the first time in years a new flavor. Look at this. This is a nectarine flavor. Shandong, okay? Sheila, ah, uh, thank you very much. But yeah, so check out that new Shandong. Make yourself some screwball ice cream at your house. You know, I don't know. The last thing is, I, I just think that whiskey sour is outstanding. Outstanding. Make this stuff at your house, you guys. Let me know what's going on. Don't forget, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the boop alert button because when we go out on tour this summer, which is at the end of middle of June, the only way you're going to be able to follow along is on YouTube, a couple on Facebook, but you want to get all the good content. We're going to be stopping at little bars, dive bars, fancy bars. We're stopping at breweries. We're stopping at bourbon places in Kentucky. We're going to be all over the place. You want to follow along because it's going to be cool. So anyways, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, everybody. Thank you to our new YouTube family for streaming live. And don't forget, also TikTok, MD's channel channel is on TikTok and blowing up. So follow along. Thanks, everybody. Cheers.